And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Zero AD. Oh, uh, no, I'm gonna come over here. How many of my guys are left? Yeah, I didn't think that was gonna work. And we got some horsey action going on here. Okay, you need to you need to come back get some get some stone for me here. Not sure what that animation is. A little slow. Like I said, it's a free game. It's a little buggy. But that's okay because it's free. So we're going to give these guys a wild chase through their land. Try to choke off. And can't stay in an area too long because of reasons. So let's uh, go way back into their territory, ignoring. Okay, let's uh, get up in here. Don't have a whole lot going on in here. Ooh, let's... Uh, we're going to head off in this direction and really... No. Take out the people. Wild goose chase for those. Who are these guys? Oh, these are the slingers. I don't want those guys. Range javelin. I want those. Spearmen, swordsmen, I want those guys. And these guys, uh, swordsmen, javelin. So there goes all, uh, I want one dude garrisoned in there. And that should, okay, there's another dude in there. Oh, that's a woman. Oh, that's my priestess. There we go. Yeah, there we go. We're really making them use... Look at that. That's awesome. All right. Where was I? Metal. I need some metal. And uh, I need a free dude. Where's a free dude? Oh, there's a couple of free dudes back here. Uh, I want a I want a blacksmith. What? How did this guy get back here? Look at that. PSD. Really? Oh, get stuck on the deer there. There you go. Oh, that's not cool. That's not cool at all. Oh, there's a. A freaking... Oh, my God. Are you serious with that? Building a, building a tower right next to my farms? That's not cool, man. And a temple right there as well. Which helps heal... So you can either convert a building, but it's harder to convert a building when there's units stationed in there. So as he's he's garrisoning units in there, it's going to be a lot harder to convert that building. So rather than convert it, I'm going to try to destroy it. But I really don't have any means any means to do that. So I really don't have the resources to fight this battle. This is going to be kind of a long, prolonged battle here, I have a feeling.
Wow, these guys have already clear cut this forest back down here. So these guys are just gonna die, unfortunately. It's really hard to take down buildings with just units. Where are you going? You know what? Two can play at that game. Stop leaving your job and build some stuff here. Look at that. They're just, they're still just leaving. They're like, oh no, I'm out of here. So hard to get anything done. Stop. All right. That's not cool. Yeah, to build a fortress, I'd need to upgrade my city again. I have... I really don't have the resources to spare in order to do that. Unfortunately. What are you... I mean, they insist on taking the building. They'll ignore all else take on the building so yeah oh these guys are farming it now oh that's just great what are you shooting over here because you're not hitting anything yeah, this is, this is lost. Look at the population they're coming in with. I have 59 souls and they're coming in with a lot of, a lot of folks. Yeah, it has been lost. They have like three quarters of the map under, under their control. So, like I said, I am pretty bad at this game. I, I enjoy playing, like, extremely one-sided maps. So, it's funny. I'll, I'm going to resign this one here. Um, so, yeah, you can have, you can, you can, you know, choose the uh, multiplayer. Um, or you can do the uh, scenario editor and create your own scenarios. So, if you just like a lazy sort of... Um, building where you want to create something beautiful, you can actually create a map that allows you to do that. So let's go up here, this Bahrain map. This is a very divided map, so uh, you'd have to use naval. But you can use the map generator to generate maps, and then you can customize them later, and that's what I did with this one. Just to sort of try to build a, a, a civilization, so to speak, without too much, without too much problems. So it's, the map is supposed to be called very one-sided, and there's a reason for that, because this is the stone and metal that I started off with, and I've got a bunch of forests that I can cut, and I've got all of the treasures down here that I can grab. Um, so Pegasus, and a Golden Fleece, and we got metal, and we got food, all that kind of stuff, just to sort of create my own little civilization. Um, so yeah, it, it's very one-sided map. It's not really meant for serious skirmishes. Um, but as you can see, I uh, am not really good at those serious skirmishes. Uh, so it's just one of those things. So she's going to pick up a whole bunch of, of resources. And as such, I can now start building a lot of dudes. And we are going to build a farmstead right over here. And this dude come up here. Now, there's a couple things about this map that that kind of 
kind of sucked that the naval the naval gameplay in this game is a little bad um so don't don't be surprised if you get frustrated with it it's a little derpy but you know the land stuff is is actually not bad it's actually not too hard so yeah it's a very fun game don't you go do that uh, you're gonna, I want one female for that. Housing can come down here. So yeah, this kind of gets you start up, and then you can get into a place, and you can, uh, I mean, even with all these starting resources, you can get close to losing. So it's not impossible to lose everything. Unlikely, but not impossible. You didn't, you'd have to really muck some stuff up to to have a have a major issue with this but there's lots of different environments there's snowy environments desert environments uh, a lot of different kinds of trees a lot of different kinds of uh you know you've got camels and bears and tigers and just tons and tons of stuff that you can integrate into a map so pretty fun pretty fun i would say uh, okay, you and you guys are going to create uh, right over here, if I can fit it in somewhere, a storehouse for all that wood. Okay, you got one there. That should give me up to five. You guys need another house. So you can hold the hold the mouse button and rotate buildings. Uh, so I'm just holding the mouse button down and just moving it around. Rotates the building, and Bob's your uncle. It's all good. So I need an axe, and I need some stone. So yeah, building this up from here is rather hard. So yeah, maximum population 300. That helps, um, you know, not get your population too high. But you can still get pretty high population. 300 is, that's a lot of little characters running around the game. Because some of the bigger siege weapons take more than one of these. So it's very much akin to a lot of other RTS games in how they manage resources. So oh, I need like a barracks. Just getting all the resources done. Pretty much rely on everything around me. You know, the trees that I place, like this big forest here. Uh, a bunch of trees over here. This, these are trees that I placed, as well as over here. Thickened these up a little bit. Okay. Oh, there they are. I knew I built some. Let's build five more of those. You can upgrade houses, so you can build um, build women from houses too. Alright, and we are going to start the upgrade already. So yeah, this isn't, this isn't a map that should be taken seriously. I'm not, uh, not going to play through this map on screen. Uh, I'm pretty much going to end the series with this one. I just wanted to show off this game, show off kind of what you can do with maps, um, that you can really get crazy with them if you want. You can make them as easy or as hard as you want with, as, with pretty much... Uh, you can have a lot of dudes. You can have a lot of guys playing on one map. So it's it's pretty cool how they how they got all that stuff working. I need to put this there. Almost ready. There we go. Not sure where they're gonna come in at. 
but my little scout little guy is not as useful in this one just because this is a an, basically an island there's there's no way around Oh, out of food. I'm glad I built so much food over here. And farm. We got lots of wood, so might as well. And gather rate a little bit more. You can see they're they're they uh, research at the same time. So it's not one and the other and the other. And you can have multiple of these buildings researching. Like if you had four of these, you could research all four of these at the exact same time. So the, all those guys are going to be garrisoned in this. I usually take five guys, build an outpost, and then garrison them right away inside. It's kind of an early waste to resources, but it helps out in the long run. That way I don't have to worry about garrison, you know, garrison guys in there when the time comes. So, with this... Alright. These guys are all done. So I want five of these guys on metal. And the other five of these guys on stone. Actually, I need these guys first to build a house or three. Leave a leave a gap in between your houses. I've built them before where they're just right up next to one another and your dudes can get stuck inside of them and there's no way to get them out. So you have to hit, you have to select them, hit delete and kill them uh, on your own in order to get them, in order to get them to work. Unfortunately. So we've got a little bit more space out here. We can, and you can rotate the houses to give a different look. All right, now you can go on stone. So that is Zero AD, Empire's Ascendant. Again, link to the game is down below. You can go to the website and download the game for free. Uh, you know, and uh, obviously donations are accepted for the game. Um, if you can afford it, you know, throw some money that way. Hey, if you can afford it, throw some money my way. There's probably a donation link uh, for me down in the description too. So, uh, you know, just... Uh, just throwing that out there. But anyway, that will do it for this this series in general. Um, not really too much to this game. Very much a strategy game. Very much uh, challenging to uh, to strategy gamers, especially with the AI. You know, the AI is is pretty good. Uh, either that, or I'm just a horrible, horrible strategy gamer. Um, you know, my my gameplay, I've played a lot of strategy games from, from uh, you know, Supreme Commander and all of those types of games. And my strategy tends to be a turtle, turtle strategy until I become so powerful that I just blow away the opponent. So, you know, all my games with Supreme Commander always included turtling um, up until uh, I got... Uh, super powerful weapons and I would just go in and just obliterate obliterate the enemy so I know my I know my gaming strategy what is that oh I know my gaming strategy I know what I play and not exactly the most exciting gameplay in the world which is why I don't really cover a whole lot of strategy games uh, on the channel so just throwing that out there that I know that you know, turtling and this kind of setup is really not, really not conducive to fair play. But if I have any chance at all, 
It's it's a slim one. I need way more food. City phase, uh, insufficient resources. Oh, I need two more. Two more buildings. Oh, he's way down here. There we go. Nobody, nobody is laggy right now. All right. Well, that will do it for the episode and the showcase for Zero AD. I thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.